Hey, this is Ken. I'm here in San Diego and we got a rainstorm coming in and uh, I'm supposed to get at least a couple of inches of rain where I live tonight. So I thought, what the heck, I've got a travel cover and what would happen if I was out traveling, stayed at a hotel and covered it with the travel cover and I was wondering how much of the bike, of the bike would actually get wet how well the compartments would hold up. Well, I don't expect really any failures, but until you do it, you don't honestly know. Now, the first RT had plenty of rain on it, and it survived real well. However, it never had a cover. I was always sitting on a wet seat, and my instrument was wet, and uh, always found that the uh, speakers had gotten wet, and that always bothered and concerned me. So. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put on the cover and I'm going to let the bike sit out overnight and then we're going to check it in the morning and we're going to see how much uh, moisture actually gets on this bike. So here's what I expect. I expect that the front trunk is going to have to fend for itself, which is fine. It's got the rubber liner and, and uh, gaskets on it and I would hope that that would not leak. Additionally, the two side saddle bags, those will all be uh, dependent upon themselves. To be leak proof and the, you know the top box it's got a cover on it you can get a small amount of rain possibly through the antenna area but it's no big deal what's important to remember is that the instrument panel your speakers your seat uh, the small glove compartment those are the items that you want to keep dry you put the windshield down uh, and I still recommend putting a cover over it because this liner does not have a liner for the windshield but easy to put on you're traveling it takes doesn't take up very much space and I wouldn't travel without it so let's wait for the rain to come in and then we'll take a look and see what happens uh, and how dry we are in the morning well it's 5:30 now and the rain has really started to come down and uh, it's not as hard as what they're saying is going to get here, but uh, this ought to give a really good test for as, as if your RT was sitting at a hotel someplace and they didn't have underground parking. So if I pull up in, if I'm on a travel and I stop at a hotel, these are the conditions that we are recreating. The only protection you have is, a, is the uh, travel cover covered by BRP. Okay, it's the next morning and after the rainstorm and it rained uh, thunderstorms from uh, about 5 30 6 o'clock all the way up to about 2, 2 a.m. then it was just uh, light rain and uh, now that it's after 10 o'clock this morning uh, there's no more rain in the forecast so let's see what happened uh, we got you know as expected we got the lower part of the bike is wet the bags uh, are wet on top I still have water beading on top of the uh, cover. This is good. I'll try and get some of this off. And it still just bubbles up there, which is good. So the uh, cover itself is doing what it's supposed to do, and that's hold out the water. And uh, water did probably run off and run along the, uh, the cracks into here. And with the uh, protection that the bike is supposed to have, um, we're clearly, uh, we got wet. Just like if we were on a road trip, like what I was trying to do. So, next step will be, uh, we're going to pull the cover off the bike and then uh, we're going to check it out.
now let's look at all the components. So let's start at the front of the bike. Uh, my my uh, headlights were covered. I don't see any water on those. Yeah, they cut the tongue goes under here, so I'm not surprised this is wet. Windshield is dry. Dash is dry. Instrument cluster is completely dry. Um, no water on here. The little few drips on here might be from what is probably from when I took in uh, took the the uh, cover off to get those little bit of drops. Inside that compartment is dry. Let's open the trunk. Okay, open the trunk, and there is water around on the outside, which is where you would expect it to be. I don't feel any water, any dampness uh, on the inside. There's actually paper down here and there's no water marks on it, so I'd have to say that the trunk is watertight. And uh, while there's water around the lid, there's not on anything on the inside of the lip. So let's come on back here to the uh, upper trunk, which, you know, I said there would be water getting in here. Uh, primarily behind the antenna. You have an antenna hole over here, so you've got some water down here. That was expected. We open the lid. We survey. My towels are dry. My gloves are dry. My glasses are dry. My XM stereo is dry. So I would say that the uh, rear trunk did exactly what it was supposed to do. It held out water. Let's open up this. We just drop some water into the into the cover now, and you can see that it's dripped down. But with the rubber gasket around here, the, this water fell from here and then down into here, so I don't count that. Let's pull my helmet out. And helmet's dry. Completely dry. No issues with it. Uh, not a drop of water on it. Uh, I would line, you know, if BRP comes out with a liner, I'd buy the liner to protect the uh, outer skin of my helmet. So I say that this side trunk uh, is uh, watertight. Let's open the other one up. Dropped a little bit of water inside, which was expected when I opened the door. Got some water, but you can see the water here it ran off, came down, ran off. Nothing on the gaskets. This water was dropped inside when I opened. That fell on there. Tool kit. It's dry. No signs of water. Bag. Here again, no signs of water. So the bike is watertight in all the uh, luggage compartments. And I have to tell you, the cover did exactly what it was supposed to do. Okay, so let's talk about the travel cover. We got an inch of rain last night here locally. We got uh, two inches of uh, snow, fresh snow uh, in the lower elevations, around 2,000 uh, feet. And at the 6,000 foot mark, we got eight inches of snow last night. Um, I know it's not like what they got in New York and in uh, Washington DC where they were expecting a, uh, a foot, of, foot or better of snow uh, and there's a blizzard storm uh, going through there so we're, it's for California eight inches of snow is a lot. Travel cover I gotta tell you did exactly what I would want what I wanted to do when I travel. It's a protective cover for the top half of my bike for all the important stuff. Don't care about the wheels, don't care about the saddlebags, but I do care about my stereo system, I do care about my speakers, the, my seating area where I sit, all the electronics. I do care about that, even though it's marine uh, tight uh, speakers. I still want to make sure this for the sake of uh, keeping even dust off, the travel cover is the way to go. So thumbs up on the travel cover. If you're near your local dealer, I would go over there, I would get the travel cover, and that's what I would take with me when I travel coast to coast, border to border. I'll see you later. This is Ken with West Coast Spider.